close. That's Spanish. See, that's, that's Spanish. Tres. Uh, no, but uh, cl- close. Come on, put some off in that shit. Tra, tra. Hey, roll that tongue. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, you half a G. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man, so video number two. I can't, you know, mess around with y'all. Well, my son here. Oh, man, video number three, man. So we got. I got a question. (laughs) (laughs) Is hygiene cultural? I don't even know what this video is about to be. (laughs) See, see what you just started. Now we, this is, I know this is about to be some foolishness. (laughs) Listen. I ain't starting nothing. Video number three, man. Is hygiene cultural or do some people have poor hygiene? Period, point blank, straight to the point. I need to know. It's about to be some damn fool. It's about to be some shit. (laughs) It's It's this show podcast. Uh Let's go. Hygiene is definitely cultural. If you'd like some proofs to support my hypothesis, here you go. I don't say we avoid bathing, but we bathe very rarely. Oh my god, I'm so happy that you're talking about this. Yeah. She didn't have a bath for like five months. Of her life. Yeah, like we didn't bathe her for the first whole part of her childhood, and like. <laughs> I don't wash my hands. Oh, I was gonna say that too. I don't care. I'm I'm done. I'm done hiding it. Oh. Why do girls have to wash it? We don't touch nothing. We don't even touch nothing. I get I get when you take a shit. Wash like if I'm in a public restroom and there's people in the stalls, I will even after I pee go to the sink. Wa- Wash the water, like pretend. Run the water. Run the water, pretend I'm washing my hands. I remember being told that I didn't need to shower today because we had swam at the lake. I remember being told that shampoo is fine because it runs down, it washes everything. Wow. I don't wipe my ass, so I do get yeast infections more often than most people. I stopped wiping my ass back in 2020 when COVID happened. <laughs> Yeah, we wash were talking about that the other day. Washcloth. We no washcloth. Washcloth. Wash oh cloth. no, Chris. Yeah. Well, I think oh, it's no. a. I think it's a. Uh, no. <laughs> it's, it's just different. <laughs> All hands. Uh, <laughs> do you wash your legs in the shower? No. No. I do it if I have like plans. Legs, bro. I wash my whole body. Yes, yes, and yes. What kind of question is that? You have to, you have to. So why your legs specific? Because I find in the white English culture, people say oh, there's no need. They don't wash their legs? No, no. The only thing as a man that you pay special attention to is this area and the little armpits and that's... Give me a minute! (laughs) I'm not a glass. I'm not gonna gonna wash my legs and feet. You think that's just a black people thing? Clearly. God have mercy upon us. (laughs) I want to talk about two things. The first being white people hygiene, where I think... Growing up in a white household and like not really being parented per se in the realm of like taking care of yourself, taking care of your hair, taking care of your skin, like washing your body, like brushing your teeth. Like it was never really like taught. It was kind of just like, oh, like you just observe what everybody else is doing. You just like play along rather. (laughs) Oh, poor baby. This is a very cultural debate here. Guys in locker rooms in the NFL used to have this debate all the time. You know, you, you some guys use bar soap, some guys use body wash, some guys have to have a rag. You know, like one of those little square rags. White? <laughs> uh, yeah, all use... Uh, whites. You're not clean because uh, the whites don't use uh, a little rag. How are you cleaning your ass, bro? With the bar of soap. Do you use a washcloth? That I think so. disgusting. I- Am I scrubbing my body with a washcloth? Yeah. Absolutely not. I know. I think we're... I that think is we're like in, a UTI I, waiting I to happen. I think we're in the minority. I really do. No, I think we... People use washcloths? I think so. Goodness gracious. You know, uh, you know what? Let me start uh, this off real quick. Let me start off real quick. Do. Uh, when I used to play ball, and <laughs> some of the shit that I witnessed in the locker room, I mean, it was cats who like went from the football field straight to the goddamn restaurant without... Washing the ass, a whole bunch of you know what I'm saying cologne on. I bet. Yeah, I don't know because I ain't get close to the motherfuckers. I have washed guys. I have I have witnessed cats in the goddamn shower in the showers stick a whole bar of soap up the ass, <laughs> <laughs> and I'd be like, my god, wait a minute, I Literally would never inside the rectum. Yeah, listen, oh boy, oh. they will take Good they god. will take you the goddamn too. bar of soap <laughs> and. Put it in, in between uh, the crack of the ass and what? 
and then wash they 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 chest with it. <laughs> it yes, wash their face with it. Ew. Why? Yeah, look. Listen, I got teammates that watch this. Y'all know who the hell I'm talking about. Oh, God. And I'd be like, man, you see some disgusting shit. Because you play with people from all over the world, all over the, the U.S. You don't know, man. Do some disgusting shit. Oh, my God, man. This is not good. And you, you and, not and, 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 wait, and you better not go in them showers without no goddamn uh, um, shower, shower shoes. shoes on, boy. Mm. You mess around, your feet going to be itching. Athlete's foot. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> I'm not tell you. That one lady said, I don't wash my ass so I get more yeast infection <laughs> than the average. But like that one was uh, that one took me over the yes, top. You know, like, she smelled horrible. No, yeah. she's the most itchiest. Ew. You listen, fellas. You meet her. Don't go nowhere. Don't put your mouth nowhere like, near that box. Just watching it got me. Itching. No, wait a minute. Did she say she don't wash her ass? She, or she said don't I don't wipe, wipe ass. my ass. So I That's get like so. You just crispity crunchity back there. <laughs> all them uh, dinkleberries. Like, come on, bro. Like, you know what I mean? You hitting it from the back. You like, oh my god. Ew. You I, forget hitting it from the back. You take them panties off and you. Oh my god. <laughs> You think you were Hershey PA? <laughs> when did we get to the chocolate factory? <laughs> oh my God! Like yo, listen. I, I know a lot of I know a lot of good white people. Y'all got to step up and let me know because this is this, this is this is y'all cross the bear because they just out here just rant. They, they just go ham with it. Washcloth, washcloth. What? So what are you doing? Again, there's some days where. You didn't eat the um, the Indian street vendor food. Yeah, Your you stomach know. is a little mm. wishy washy, bubbly, and you coming out. I mean, you firing that M sixteen in that toilet. <laughs> <laughs> how you how you cleaning that? First of all, this is why I say I don't like eating food from people's houses. You this is never what, know yeah. how a person's hygiene is. How you gonna say? The chick had the nerve to say, oh, yeah, I don't wash my hands. I just run the water. What's the point? So if you run in the water, you might as well just wash your hands. You're right there. <laughs> this is exactly why I don't eat the potluck at work. Uh. <laughs> CJ, you want some um, spaghetti salad? No, oh, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not hungry. Not, you, you, I, man, you know what? That's dirty. That's, yeah, it's That's just, there's no other word you can use. I don't give a damn. Culture is dirty. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Like, I don't want... How do you... So, again, when you think about... The lady about, said that, you know what? She was taught to just play along. Like, but, look, just play along. Like, when somebody brushes... How you not brush your teeth every day? Let's, Ew. Let, let's think about it like this. Say this desk right here, or mm. this chair gets dirt on it, right? Imagine you just taking some spray and just spraying it on here. It's all right. <laughs> well, it's clean. How do you get it off? You have to wipe, wipe it off, and your hand doesn't have the, the texture... To actually scrub to get some dirt off that you can't see. So y'all are literally just walking around dirty. I, I, I just I don't, I don't understand it. Spreading the dirt from one spot of the body to the, the other. lady said I was told we didn't have to shower because we swam in the lake today. Oh my god! Is the lake <laughs> not dirty? <laughs> no. no. Oh my god! Because she was told that the shampoo was pretty much soap, so that's all it she just, had to yeah, do. Was it just it was just wash it. It was just just <laughs> rinsing down her body. By the time that shampoo got to, to the crack of her ass, it wasn't that much there. <laughs> so you was dirty Gracious. by that point. Oh man, look. Let's, let's go to let's go to comment number one. So comment number is from Aramello. Aramello says, at my old job, I witnessed too many grown women walk out of the bathroom mm -hmm. without washing their hands. Yep. It still gives me anxiety yep. when I think uh, about it. Now yep. listen, I've that heard I've heard in my in my experience working in corporate America, I've heard women say out of their mouths that the woman's bathroom is worse than the men's I've bathroom. heard that. I've heard that a lot. First of all, how the hell do they know what the true? men's bathroom look like? Hey, I don't know their personal business, but... <laughs> Hey man, listen. Let me tell you something. I've been in, I've worked in maintenance, and them bathrooms really do be horrible. I mean, again, women got that one situation that we don't have, and I could just imagine. Ugh, ugh. Mm, I tell you, yuck. And you want me to eat what? <laughs> <laughs> I don't like my That's fish raw. Negative. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, ain't no sushi over here for me. <laughs> <laughs> like my <Yeah>. deep fried. <laughs> that means it was bait. <laughs> oh, man. Let's go to comment number two. Comment number two is from Aaliyah Baby 93 
And Leah Baby C, so true. Growing up, <laughs> I wasn't taught how to properly clean myself. Mm. Then when I got put in foster care and my foster parents were black, they got me all together. Wasn't not playing that. And period. Not playing that. Oh, yeah. You brushing your teeth in the morning and before you go to bed. And if you're going outside, oh, yeah. You got to take a bath when you come inside. You know, the, the thing that killed me was smell the guy. Smell like outside. The guy in the video, he said all he do is this. Yeah, he said hit this part <laughs> and, and this part. part. And I'm like, yeah, yo, bro, you don't you, you don't hit your ass? I heard <laughs> You somebody, didn't do your ass? No, somebody told me that before. They was like, oh, yeah, I just cleaned the important parts. So I'm like, what do you mean by the important part? The, your entire body is important. It's important. You ever seen a kid that's outside, they've been playing, and they've been playing so hard, they so sweaty, that they got the, the dirt like around here down there. Oh neck. my god. Yeah. So oh. it's like as a human, you know that that's a that's a possibility. So you talking about the important part. Your neck is important. Yeah. You know, you, you, you never know. That sweetheart that you met, met at the bar, she might want to get up under your neck and do a little, mm. you know, and now you smelling like mustard greens. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Boy, I tell you know, wash your ass. Wash your ass. All right, so, <laughs> no, the entire body, okay? But How about definitely that? ass, too. <laughs> that should be a, a specialty. All right, look, so, comment. Let's do one more comment. Comment number three is from Zell Bell 2. <laughs> Why do people have so much host hostility towards washcloths? I, I don't know. Thank you. But you're supposed to have two washcloths. One for the face, mm -hmm. one for the body. I'm not even going to lie. If I go over a woman's house and I go into her bathroom, and I see one washcloth. <laughs> you out? You are definitely <laughs> cut. Because <laughs> I know you ain't right. Like she gonna come again, baby. You either give ain't me, washing your like, face or you, ain't, baby, you yeah. ain't washing your ass. <laughs> come here, baby. Give me a kiss. No, nope, thank her face you. Smells mm -hmm. like ass. <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> What you gonna be over here? Oh no! <laughs> well, you're like, I need to see two washcloths over here. Mm -hmm. I'm the fuck out. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Nasty people, wash your butt. Wash your ass, <laughs> please. But there's one thing I'm big on is hygiene. Oh my gosh, I've always been like that. And, and you got to teach your children, man. Oh yeah, my kids. You got to teach play. your children. They know I don't play that crap. Yeah, yeah. I mean, wash your face, wash your butt, grab the, get the other washcloth. You know, what I mean, stop playing. And and and, and again, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a piggyback on. <laughs> Uh, my uncle Kevin Samuels, rest, rest in peace. Fellas, don't be shy about your ass. It's yours. So it ain't gay, as y'all would say. It's, it's your, your ass. ass. <laughs> right. Take your fingers. I ain't telling you to be on no kinky stuff. Take your, t put the rag around there. Take these fingers in between your cheeks. Scrub, okay? Don't be afraid to get between your butt cheeks. Because you washing the outside of your ass is cool. But when you sit down and somebody can take a whiff mm -hmm. of them the, uh, that uh, those Hershey streaks you got in your underwear because you ain't gotten between the Cause crack of your be the ass. Because yep. I that, listen, you ever been in your car and you driving with somebody and they get out and you get and that as butt smell as right, soon as they get out. Yes. <laughs> that or if somebody me off. or if somebody's sitting next to you and as soon as they sit yes, down you, and then it's like the sink goes yes, up. So it's oh called my God. it's called butt foonery. <laughs> That's what that smell is called. <laughs> butt foonery. <laughs> and I don't you like this. Ooh, it's, and you cold. Be, it's, oh, it's cold in here. Cut the heat of season on. Hell no. <laughs> no. Or you be a mid-con. Hell no.